get out of there. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm already into this, so I, I but I figured I'd document. I'm on this MER Mars. Uh, this is a uh, 2400 series bill changer. I had a uh, another customer call. Different uh, jukebox. Different jukebox. Never worked on this one, but the complaint was it's not accepting bills. Not accepting bills. It's rejecting them. Uh, for no reason. It was dirty. We cleaned it. We went through the usual cleaning of the optics and whatnot. Uh, but that's not the issue here. And I've gone ahead and started breaking this thing down. And it, uh, it's almost like it's not... It, it talks in conjunction with the computer. It reads the bill. Pauses. Waits for the credit. Waits to see if there's any money owed back. And then if if those conditions are met, it will it will send the bill into the stacker back here. That's the problem this is having. It accepts the bill, it pauses, and then it returns the bill to you. So as if it was a defective. But uh, we tested the machine by substituting another bill changer. So we know it's changer the, the acceptor. We know it's the bill acceptor. I'm going to check the belts. I've gone ahead and ordered a belt kit for this because I'll probably put them in. But uh, right off the bat, what I think it's not doing, either the optics, which I can try in another one or from another one, or the um, the logic here. And uh, what I've noticed right off the bat is there's a fuse in, under this disk capacitor there, that white fuse, but that's fine. Uh, I do notice this disk capacitor here is bulged. And there's two motors here. And one of them is the stacker motor, and one is the feed motor. Now, I don't know. There's no diagrams on these available. So I'm just taking a guess that um, maybe this is the stacker one over here, or maybe this is the, the one there. The capacitor is the one that's causing us issue. Uh, I'm going to change this. It's a 470 at 35. It looks vented to me. It just doesn't look right. It looks a little bulged the top just it's somewhere to start here just taking a look inside I'll inspect the belts next but I don't hear the motor go as if it's not even trying but uh, I'm, I'm all powered up this is a 110 volt model so I can supply 110 but I don't know how to satisfy the requirements of of satisfying once it's red to place it in the stacker I don't know if there's some pins you got to jump to tell it, hey, it's okay to accept it, put it in the stacker. I'd like to bench test it, but I don't have that info at this time. Okay, the capacitor was pretty easy to pull out. I've cleaned the holes. I just pulled the capacitor. I gave the board a couple taps, and uh, we're good. And there's our capacitor. Like I say, that doesn't look good. We'll test it. Well, it's out of circuit, and I tested it, and that's no surprise. One beep, no bing bing, in circuit, leaky. 13.7 ohm ESR. Let's see what the book says about that. 470 at 35 is only supposed to have like 0.24 ohm ESR, so this definitely is uh, not good. These are some uh, I call them imported. They are new, they're 105, 470s. And no, no particular brand name, but we'll test one. Let's give it a... Yeah, that one, that's good. We'll stick that in. All right, there we are installed. I get admit I watched another video on this on YouTube, and they, uh, uh, the others, they slapped this in and out pretty quick. I did take the whole assembly apart. Like I said, I ordered a belt kit, but I just went through the move, so uh, should I have to, uh, well, I'll replace the belts. Um, but they, like, flew through this so fast, and you can watch it if you look that up, but... Um, I'm saying it's a circuit problem. They have all the rebuild, you can rebuild all you want, but hopefully, I'm yeah, gonna take this down and see if that, uh, that capacitor fixes this. I'm gonna go install it in the machine. Oh, and what I wanna note is this has the type of connector where you have to flip the lever up and snap it down to get the ribbon cable in. I'll do that next. 
the board goes in this way. Okay, I've got all my rib my ribbon cables connected. I've got the uh, the bill optics connected. I'm going to just place this back in here. There shouldn't be any resistance. And uh, so I don't think our capacitor is in the way. I'm going to check this. I think one of the wires is is something right here. Okay, I believe that was one of those disc capacitors I lifted while I was uh, checking that fuse, which I knew was good. So we put that on, reattach that. Now we put the unit's bezel back on, which here's the bottom this way. And I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna try applying 110 to this to see what it does here. Okay, I want to try this by applying some 110 between uh, the white and the black. Neutral in the hot, but I, I just realized I don't have a dollar. I don't have a dollar. Have to try it in the unit and see. Okay, I think we got it. This is working. I'm going to lower this out of here. This is the wall mount. How to do one handed. Let me get the bills. It's accepting. So it was the capacitor. Yes, done.